It is truly a tournament fit for a king. And in 2000, Tiger Woods was looking for his first Bay Hill Invitational victory. In the final round, he would go head to head against Davis Love III. A showdown worthy of the King's attention. The 2000 Bay Hill Invitational. Tiger Woods entered the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational on top of the golf world and on the hottest streak of his career. He'd already had two wins in the first three months of the season, capping a stretch of six straight victories. The first was a dramatic playoff win in Hawaii over Ernie Els. And the second, a stunning come from behind victory at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. He also made it to the finals of the match play, beating Davis Love the third in the process. After nearly two winless seasons, Love's game looks to be rounding back into form. Bay Hill is a course he has always played well on, so he could be dangerous this week. The 2000 Bay Hill Invitational is next on PGA Tour Classic. Bay Hill was very special. I came here the first time in 1948, and I knew then that someday I'd be back here. For nearly half a century, Arnold Palmer's confident stride has graced the fairways of the PGA Tour. The charismatic professional from Latrobe, Pennsylvania, who won his first tour event in 1955, went on to claim 62 PGA Tour titles, including seven majors. Arnold Palmer's legacy as an ambassador of golf lives on through his tournament. And to a man, the players on tour agree that the Bay Hill Invitational is something special. It was really nice winning Bay Hill at Arnold Palmer's um, uh, home course. And it was nice to get to the, the, the trophy from Arnold himself, so it was a quite a special moment. Everything that we play for, and everything that, that has been organized in golf to this point, uh, uh, we owe a large measure to, to Arnold. The Bay Hill Invitational is special to a lot of players because it is Arnold's tournament. And he, he's designed the course, he's, he's created the event, if you will. And, and it's really because of him that the, the Bay Hill gets so many good players in such a strong field. And it's mainly paying respects to Arnold on, on making the game what it is today. Bay Hill is not just a great golf course, but a tribute fit for a king. Day one of the action at Bay Hill, Rory Sabatini finds himself in a precarious position at the 18th. Oh. Well done. That ball was lying on grass. He had to just kiss the rocks coming into the ball. And watch what happens. In the pond and out. Almost hit him on the way back to where it ended up. That would not have been good, but it was okay. A fortunate break for Glenn Day at the 18th. Most of the leaders came from the morning round, which saw much better scoring conditions. But one of the late chargers is Jonathan Kay, with his third at the par 5 16th. Kay would make that putt and finish at three under par. Also at three under, David Toms trying to stay that way, facing a tough bunker shot at 18. Oh, wonderful effort. Toms would also finish the day with a three under 69. Ernie Els struggled a bit on day one, but he had a birdie putt to finish the day at even par, 
A respectable score in the afternoon conditions. Beautifully rolled. The lead after 18 holes belonged to VJ Singh and Duffy Waldorf, who both played in the morning. Tiger Woods also had a morning tee time and capitalized, finishing in a group one shot back. The fireworks of day two were started by Steve Lowry, his tee shot at the par 317. Only the fourth hole in one at the 17th in the history of the Bay Hill Invitational. Making fireworks of his own in round two was Tiger Woods, already five under on the day. That's a two putt birdie at 16 in the group behind him, Davis Love the third. And this an eagle putt for Davis Love. <laughs> All right. So Davis Love to four under par. Love converting his eagle chance and ahead to 18 and Tiger's approach from the fairway. Well, he has 143 to the hole, Peter, and has selected a nine iron. A little abbreviated follow, a little knockdown. Follow through and well done. Coming back. Questions? <laughs> Just answers. The King, his third at the par 5 16th. 95 yards, wanted to go for this green in two, had 231 to the front, but decided to lay up. And he didn't want to, Gary, but he said a nice looking shot to the right of the hole. If he can get that sideboard action. Yeah. Spinning it back below the hole, and that'll leave a very makeable putt for a birdie. Palmer with the chance for the birdie at 16. One hole ahead at 17. Davis Love with a birdie chance of his own. Yeah. It's a nice two, and that moves Davis Love to five under. Love making a charge at the top of the leaderboard. Now Tiger to finish with a birdie. Question there. 64. Back to 16 and Arnold for birdie. Palmer delighting the crowd at 16. And judging by that smile, he delighted himself with that one. Up at 18, where Davis Love is just off the green. You know, Davis, in these situations, tries to hold these out. He doesn't try to just get them close. Love would save his par and finish at minus five. Now Arnold Palmer from the fairway again, trying to finish strong with his approach to the last. This shot, a good looking shot going at the center of the green, left of the hole. Oh. You have to love this. At his home course in the tournament he hosts, Arnold Palmer once again giving the fans a thrill with his marvelous play over the final holes. And the crowd stands to salute the king one more time. Now Arnold for birdie at 18. Looked to be a good stroke. Hard to believe he could misread the putt as many times as he's played here, but it's left all the way. Four green jackets at Augusta National. Arnold Palmer. Palmer providing the thrills on Friday, but it's Tiger Woods with his second round 64 that sits atop the leaderboard at the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational. For this classic moment, we move ahead to 2001. Tiger Woods beginning to show his dominance at the Bay Hill Invitational. He had the lead on Sunday, but Phil Mickelson made a charge with a final round 66 
including what was nearly a spectacular finish. But Woods would answer the challenge as he delivered his second shot at the 18th from the left rough. It would secure his second Bay Hill Invitational title. Saturday at the Bay Hill Invitational, Tiger Woods has the lead. He is pin high in the bunker in two at the par five sixth. Very good line. The good news is playing back into the wind, so that should help him stop it. Way up in the air, very softly. And the bunkers here at Bay Hill, the players love to play out of. The sand is just the right texture. We've seen a lot of good bunker shots. Davis Love the third, trying to build off a solid finish in the second round. Just threw the green in two at the par 5 12th. Chipping the ball back up the hill. Oh, and Davis Love in the hole, Eagle three. That moves him to 10 under par, five under par in his third round. Love to within two of Tiger, and now Woods with his approach at the dangerous eighth. Roger. It's a pitching wedge from 135. Hit two right at the hole if the right distance. Slow down now. Tiger would make that to move to 13 under. Ahead to 13 and Love's approach. Davis would keep pace with a birdie of his own, playing with Tiger, Canadian Mike Weir, who had a birdie putt at the eighth. Very quiet hand action. Weir to within three shots and ahead to 15, where a bad approach has left Davis Love short of the green. He hit his second shot fat. Now you got to recover. It's pretty good, huh, Dan? Is it enough? And Davis Love with another birdie. Wow, two chip ins in just a few holes. Davis Love, the third, using a spectacular short game to get into contention. Now six under on the day and just one shot back of Tiger. Back at the ninth, Tiger, a tough par putt to keep the lead. Oh, really Tiger knew he made it. A solid save by Tiger and ahead at 16. Davis set to go for the green in two. Whole location that if you put the ball past the hole, will catch a slope and bring it back toward the hole. Oh, this has got a chance to come back. This has got a chance to come back. Oh, yes. Davis Love with about 12 feet and a chance for an eagle three at 16. We go to 11. This is beautiful speed. How about that? Perfect in the heart. Woods with his fourth birdie of the day. Moves to 14 under two clear <laughs> of Love. To 16. Eagle putt for Davis Love, Mark. It's going a little bit left, Gary. Can't get it out of the hole. All right, he didn't. Oh, that is right in the center. That moves Davis Love to 14 under par and nine under par in his third round. A couple of the PGA Tours heavyweights exchanging punches on the back nine at Bay Hill. Now tied for the lead. Could Tiger answer with a birdie at 12? Yeah. 11 under, yeah. a thousand. <laughs> Moves to 15 under, takes the outright lead. Yowzer. The pressure's back on Love. Could he birdie one of the toughest finishing holes on tour? Dangerous shot here. Did he get it all, Mark? He did. Wow. What a shot. You gotta be happy with that, Mark. It has been a magnificent round, Johnny. Well, that was clutch. Davis Love on top of his game. And back at 13, Tiger faces a lengthy par putt. This particular putt back into the grain. You saw his chip shot not move much. The guy's been making this, Bob? 
They're making this putt. It goes very slightly to his left. Something like that. Tiger stays at 15 under par. Could Davis join him with a birdie at the last? To tie Tiger Woods. No, it does go just a little left to the beginning mark and then flattens out. Well, Davis will have to settle for a <laughs> 63. Yeah, that's sweet. Again, it's the lowest 18 hole round since this course was converted to the par 72 10 years ago. Davis loved the third with a beautiful performance to get himself into contention in round three. Back at 16, Tiger looking to extend his lead at the par five. Well, this shot very high left to the hole. Gonna have to carry, I think. Ooh. That does. Just barely. Stays on the fringe. So Tiger Woods, yeah, wanted it to go to the right with the wind. It didn't happen, but he is safely in the fringe at the par 5 16th. Lefty Mike Weir has quietly kept himself in contention playing with Tiger, his third at the par 5. Oh, here it comes. How about in? Oh! Well, that's why I laid up, guys. That would lead to a birdie for Weir. Now Tiger looking to get up and down from the fringe for a birdie of his own. Sputtered it basically, huh? Oh. Nearly an eagle, but the birdie would move him to 16 under. After a par at 17, Tiger found himself in a tough lie greenside at 18. A deft touch for Tiger would give him par and a third round 67. He's got the lead by two over Davis Love, the third, headed into the final round of the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. In just three and a half years on the PGA Tour, Tiger Woods has won an amazing 17 times. He's also the game's most efficient closer. The last 12 times he's led after three rounds, he's ended up with a trophy. Davis Love III hasn't won in nearly two years, and he yearns to erase his past failures against Tiger. In 1996, Woods beat Love in a playoff in Las Vegas for his first PGA Tour title. Last November, Love succumbed to Woods in the Grand Slam of golf. And earlier this year, Tiger roared to a five and four victory in the semifinals of the match play championship. This week, Love has tempted fate again. A 63 in the third round puts him in a position for another head to head showdown with Woods. To break his winless streak, Davis will have to play the course, not the man. But sooner or later, the focus is clear. If you can beat the man, it will be your turn to hold the trophy. The final round started out rocky for Tiger. This for par at one. The save keeps him in the lead, which would grow to three after Love bogeyed the second. At the third, Davis with his approach. An unlucky bounce for Love, and it goes into the hazard. And the deficit would go to five. Two holes later, Love at the fifth trying to turn things around. That would lead to his first birdie of the day. Skip Kendall making a move on Sunday. Two under through five holes. This is his third at the par five sixth. It's an eight iron into the hole for an eagle three. That moved him to 12 under par. He's still five shots back of Tiger, but in third place. Tiger holding steady at 17 under, playing conservatively. Let's go out to the ninth. Well, Davis Love getting ready to play and uh, paired 
many times with Tiger Woods in the past but as discussed uh, coming up on the short end and we asked Davis if Tiger really does intimidate other players. I think he knows he intimidates other players. I think he um, comes to rely on that, especially when it gets down to the weekend or in a match play event that he thinks, all right, all I got to do is play my game and these guys are going to fade away because uh, they know how good I'm playing. And You know what? If I was playing like that, I would think exactly the same thing. And there has been times when I've played with players and think all I got to do is hit a few good drives and make a few putts and these guys are going to fade away. And um, You know, Jack Nicklaus probably thought like that and Arnold Palmer thought like that and that's why they get to the top. I think it's a great call, great comment by Love, and it's true. You know, you can sort of tell who's dominant and who's better than who, even though it seems so close to the viewing public. He's been missing him right uh, the wrong side of the flag so far, so we'll see if he's asking for it to leave it alone. That means it's right of the hole again. Just continues to short side it, but that's not a bad putt. Pretty good shot. This. Um, Tiger's taking dead aim here on this tough hole with that huge distance of his. Let's see, a little hold on punch you see right there, very controlled. See if he keeps the left of the hole, which is what you're supposed to do, but uh, a little unfortunate there. Well, let's go over to the 15th. Look at this. Phil Mickelson flips the club over, so he's playing right handed. He had some problems with his swing there with the trees. And Phil finds more problems as that races off wow. the cart path. By the way, it's been a, a tough day for Philly. Uh, scored a 10 on the par 5 sixth earlier today. So it has not been a uh, Sunday to remember for the champion here back I, in 97, although he's still got a <laughs> smile on his face. I think he knew, enjoyed it, but he didn't know it hit the cart path a couple times. Back at nine, Tiger's facing down another chance at getting up and down for par. Got a nice lie, huh, Roger? It is, and uh, surprisingly almost, John, not electing to use the three wood here. This would be another great place for it to chip with, but he's instead elected to play a little eight iron here. Not much break on this, is it? No, but chipping back uphill, this is a little on the slow side. 24 putts yesterday, Roger, and he's off to another one putting type of day today. Davis now this for birdie just off the green. Well, I think he should come out of the fringe moving just a little left and then straighten up in the area of the hole. It's a makeable putt if he can get it there, but it kind of bobbled coming out of the fringe though, John. Hmm. Both players make par at the ninth and Tiger still holds a four shot lead at the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. For this classic moment, we move ahead to 2002. Tiger Woods was once again cruising at the Bay Hill Invitational. He headed into the final round with a one-shot lead. Phil Mickelson made a charge, but he came up short. And Tiger, after an even par front nine, shot a brilliant three under coming home on the back. He won by three shots. And he received congratulations once again from Arnold Palmer. Back to the final round action. The last group is in the 10th fairway. Punch shot, huh? Keeping the ball down. Starts at the center of the green, trying to turn it left toward the hole. Now love. 152. This is six iron. If this is up, it's a pretty good looking shot, just right of the hole. It yeah. is a good looking shot, just about hole high for Davis Love. Tiger with two putt for his par. And now Love with an opportunity to cut into Tiger's lead. I don't see a lot of movement in this putt. I might try to go a little bit left, but. Uh, he can't be missing any of these now. If he's going to try to get after Tiger a little bit, he's got to hold this putt and get some momentum going. Inside right edge. There it is. Love gets the job done. And now to the par 4 11th, where Davis Love has missed the fairway to the left. But 
Tiger is in the fairway and he's up first. This is a six iron John from 179 yards setting up to move it right to left. Kind of shot. Well, he has started it right, and it's really not turning too much. It's well right of the hole, but looks to be safely on. Woo, carried very deep. Yeah. Well, he made about a 40 footer yesterday on this hole, so see if he gets a 40 footer today. To me, this is uh, a key shot because if you happen to do what he did at three, maybe get a little cute, uh, pull it, or come up short, catch it up in the wind uh, coming across there and leave it in the water, that's probably what, pretty much the end of the thing. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Well, he wants the wind to hit it. This ball boring through the wind, it appears. Oh, yeah. What a shot by Davis Love. And Love's looking like he could mount a charge. The group ahead, Stewart Sink, his third at the par 5 12th. And how about that? Oh. <laughs> Another hole out in this group. Remember, Kendall hold his third shot at the sixth. That moves Stewart Sink to nine under. At the 11th, Tiger for birdie. Putting right towards the water, down grain. Easy to leave it short, and it'd be easy to run it way by, but it looks pretty good. You see how quick that is, one of the quickest putts of the day. And ahead to 12. We'll skip Kendall putt for a birdie at 12. And that's safely in. That moves him to 12 under. So they play the 12th hole and three under par. Boy, Bad. sink, sunk right in the hole at 12, <laughs> Kerry. Yep. Go well, back to 11. Big right. putt for Davis. This has got a big swing to it. We saw Skip Kendall make his first bogey of the day on the same kind of putt. It breaks a lot, Roger, from right to left. And when it loses speed, it'll snap left. This looks good. Oh, and it's read perfectly by Love, perhaps. Wow. Look, look at the look on Tiger's face. That was a little different look. Perhaps even more inspired. Game's on, Tiger. Things have changed, haven't they? The lead is now two. Love has gotten Tiger's attention up at the par 5 16th. Lauren Roberts with his third. Danger here if you don't carry the ball far enough past the hole, you can spin it back almost to the water. Whoa. Hold on. Okay. Go back to the par 5 12th. Well, there has been a momentum change. You can see it on the faces of the players, including Tiger Woods. Tiger looks more gritty and more determined now. I think he's going to get off his conservative plan, as I said a few minutes ago. Uh, Davis Love has made two great putts at 10 and 11. Look at this beautiful setup. Hands just hanging nicely. Big wide stance. This is going to be a long iron. I think it said 246. And you can see it straight left arm. Roger, he's blocked it right. He has missed it right, John. That was a three iron. He's hung on to it and will short side it on the right. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much green he has to work with there and what kind of lie comes up with it. If he can come up with a little upslope or in the flat of the bunker, he's all right. But a little opening for Tiger, Roger. Well, that's right. I think that was a very big miss by Davis Love because if he can get the ball on the green, he just tightens the notch a little bit tighter, you know, uh, on Tiger. But now Tiger has the luxury of trying to keep it left of the hole, make sure he doesn't short side it. What a tee shot, huh? Oh, 349. Shot. 231 left of the hole, 215 to the front edge. Looks like he's just looking at the hole. This is a moon ball headed left. I think it's too far left. Well, it catches the extreme left hand side of the green, and trickles through into the primary cut of rough, but he has a lot of green to work with. Both players misfire on the par five. Back to 16 and Roberts for his birdie to get to 11 under. Should turn a little to Lauren's left. Oh, nicely done. That puts him five under par in his final round. Back to the leaders and Tiger is first to play from the rough. Well short. That's the danger from there. All right, a tough bunker shot here, Roger. Looks like he can't see the putting service. How's the lie? He can. He has a very good lie. I think it's a shot he can pull off, but it's very delicate. We'll have to land this ball on the fringe. It's coming out downwind and down green and downhill once it hits on the green. That's 
should get on well past. Had to land that ball on the fringe, Gary. Not what Love was looking for. He's outside of Tiger, but still has a makeable birdie opportunity. This putt slow, moving to the right. So Davis unable to take advantage of a good tee shot at 12. We'll remain at 15 under par. See how Tiger has done on the two par fives that he's played. And if he were to make this putt, he would play the 12th hole for the week in five under. He's gone birdie, eagle, birdie so far. Have guys been making this, Gary? Well, John, I think uh, the tendency has been uh, just what we saw with Davis there, uh, to not strike the putt firmly enough. And if it is not struck firmly enough, it will definitely move to the right. Roger, he has putted these, uh, this length of putt really well all week long. He has, and of course his tendency is to hit these putts quite firmly. Tiger Woods regains the momentum at the 12th. His birdie along with Love's failure to make birdie pushes Tiger's lead back to three at the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic in the final round of the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational. Davis Love III trails by three, chasing down an elusive first title at Bay Hill. In 1989, at the age of 24, Love was in position to win for the second time on tour. Needing only bogey on the final hole to win, he couldn't close the deal and lost in the playoff. In 1993, again, Love in position to win at Bay Hill, but he would finish second. In 1998, he was part of that dream threesome for the 36-hole final day marathon, but his Sunday nightmare continued as he collapsed and finished 11 shots back. In 1999, he again entered the final round tied for the lead, but a one over 73 was only good enough for third. He's in position again and playing in the final group in a tournament that he desperately wants to win. Well, I'd love to win it uh, because I've thrown a couple away. Uh, I'd love to win it because of Arnold. I'd love to win it this year because of Winnie and Payne Stewart. Uh, it would be a great moment for me. But most of all, I'd love to win because I haven't won since uh, Hilton had a couple years ago. So it's going to be um, you know, a day where I'm going to have to uh, keep my uh, emotions in check and keep my uh, myself focused on the shot at hand and not try to get too excited because uh, when you have a chance um, you don't want to let it get away especially in a situation like this. Trying to regain some momentum love for birdie at 13. Um, come on ball don't stop. And he comes up short and he's got to be very disappointed at this point in the proceedings leaving that putt short. But an easy par keeps him at 15 under. Tiger has missed the green, but he has a very makeable putt from the fringe. This putt works ever so slightly to Tiger's left, back into the green, and require a little more speed than it perhaps looks at first. saw how quickly it came to a halt going back into the green. To 18. Lauren Roberts has the round of the day going. This is a third shot here coming back down to the hole. It's delicate but very very makeable. This notice the break here or lack of break hits trickles. Five under on his round. He's going today. at it. He's going at it. Looking for six under. A solid finish for Roberts. Back to the final group where Love has run his birdie putt a few feet past. Now here's Tiger for birdie to extend his lead to four. Oh, 
This looks pretty good. Oh, oh my, it just froze out and broke back a little right at the cup. Now Love to clean up his par. What a round he has had six birdies so far today, a triple bogey, a double bogey, and a bogey. Wow. A stunning miss from two feet for Davis Love the third, and his chances at catching Tiger are slowly slipping away. He drops four shots back to the 15th and Tiger from the fairway. He has not dropped a shot since the second hole yesterday. Well, visually he had the magnolia in his way, not the shots away, but um, another shot on the opposite side of um, the pin where you're supposed to miss it. And I know he didn't love that, Roger, but got the job done. You can hear uh, W. Burke talking his man through it. And then back. Well, he's telling us 28 yes. paces back and six and on the right. 15. I want to jump all over it. You know, I have no problem with it. Plus, you know, they're, they're still pretty firm. Well, he tried to hit a little half shot in the last, uh, well, two holes ago and one. hit it long left. And we saw that one. And yeah. what's he going with, Roger? Can it's you tell? A wedge from 138 yards, John. Oh, man. Wind helping and from the left. Oh, this is he sung it out to the right. This is that's not good. Mm, that's the shot that's plagued his career right there. Davis Love has stalled here on the back nine on Sunday ahead to 16. Third shot for Skip Kendall 78 yards. But you really want to throw the ball well past the hole here and get it to try to spin back. Catch the slope. Wow. Oh, yeah. Skip's played here before. He knows what to do. Great shot. Back to 15 where Love's chip came up well short. He faces a long attempt for par. And he'll accept uh, back to back bogeys at 14 and 15. He drops to 13 under. Those back-to-back -back bogeys mean Love needs a stunning comeback in the last three holes to catch Tiger. His chances would be improved if Tiger doesn't convert this tough par putt. Well, he wills yet another par putt in. Tiger's plan of conservative play is working as he holds a five shot lead. The conclusion of the 2000 Bay Hill Invitational is next. For this classic moment, we move ahead to 2003. And for the fourth consecutive year, Tiger Woods entered the final round of the Bay Hill Invitational with the lead. And although the lead was five, he would have to battle miserable conditions and a case of food poisoning to capture the title. Tiger would gut it out, coming up with a final round 68, the best score of any of the leaders. He would win by nine. We're back at the par 5 16th. Davis Love is laid up from the rough, but Tiger's in the fairway going for the green in two. And he's hit the ball to the right of the bunker, right of the hole. Looks like it'll kick down into the bunker. Yeah, really not a lot of problem there. Love went from rough to rough with his layup. This is his third shot. I get down. I get Up at the green, Tiger is facing this bunker shot. Well, Gary, I think he's looking well right of the hole. There's really no reason to play this ball at the hole. And it brings the water into, into play to the left and behind if something bad happened. I think it's much safer to play right. Is he on a downslope? He is slightly on a downslope, yes. Yeah, that, was the, that was the smart play. Tiger once again playing it safe. Now love for birdie.
Davis just can't get anything going over these final few holes and now he needs to think about keeping his second place position. After the safe play from the bunker. Tiger for birdie. Tiger for yet another birdie on a par five. Pretty commercial. <laughs> well, he knows now if he can just avoid any kind of disaster, but, uh, things will be just fine. Tiger looking to cruise home with a victory. Only two holes left. At the par 317th, Davis found the greenside bunker off the tee. Knocks it off the stick. That was an amazing bounce off that flag stick. I think it might have gone in without it. It was dead center. An unlucky break for Love, summing up his day. Up at 18, skip Kendall for birdie to take over second place from Love. It's very makeable. Wow. Got it out there a couple inches. He said, that was in. I hit a perfect putt. A valiant effort from Kendall. But he remains tied for second. Back to 17. Tigers hit another green and has another chance for birdie. It's another par for Mr. Woods, and he takes a five shot lead to the home hole. Ahead to 18, and Davis from the fairway. 158 to the hole, John. I'm sure he's going to try to cut something left to right against this wind from the right. This is a seven iron. See so if he can keep it left of the hole here. This looks pretty good if it's the right distance. Wow. So that'll be a birdie chance for Love to finish in second all by himself at 14 under. Tiger's drive ended up in the rough and instead of challenging the water fronting the green he laid up to the fairway. This now about 85 yards a little fortunate just missed a sand filled divot. And a sand wedge left. Just come back. Whoa. Well, Tiger Woods trying to complete an impressive slam of sorts, featuring some of the most revered names in golf. He's already won Byron Nelson's tournament in 97, Jack Nicholas's memorial tournament in 99, and now he's just a few moments away from Arnie's title at Bay Hill. Tiger ready to lock up the victory. But first, Davis loved to finish strong with a birdie at the last. Wow. That's a great way to finish. 72 for Love. He just continues to, to conduct himself in as classy a manner as any professional on tour today. Another successful close for Tiger Woods. 13 straight and counting when he shared or had the lead after three rounds. Tiger's 2000 season is considered by many to be the best ever on the PGA Tour. Sunday at Bay Hill, he proved his might, staring down Davis Love III in the final round showdown. It was the first of his many titles at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Invitational, and it was a PGA Tour Classic.